Hi and welcome back to how to paint your bass guitar series. This is video number two. Today what we're going to be doing is putting our paint plus primer onto our project. So what I'm going to be using today is called Color Max Paint Plus Primer Gloss White Indoor slash Outdoor and this is by Krylon. This is actually the very first time I used this one. The last time I used a different paint but I'm actually, I do like this one a tad bit better. Okay, so what you'll need is boxes. A mask or a respirator would be actually a lot better, but masks, I guess, will do for now. Gloves, of course. You don't want to get any paint on your hands. So for the boxes that I've mentioned, you could make a little cube or a wall or just, you know, a little surrounding. So when you're painting, you don't get paint on anything else other than the boxes and, of course, your project. So with this paint, with any paint rather, you want to follow the instructions in the back. Very, very critical. You want to follow those instructions. This one actually has a dry time of 10 minutes and a recoil time of 1 minute. So my very first application of paint, I'm actually going to mist this first coat. Wait 1 minute. The second coat I'm going to cover the entire base. Once again, wait one more minute. And the third application, I'm going to apply an even heavier coat on the entire base. This one, of course, you want to make it completely white. There's no spots or anything. But also do remember, don't apply too much paint. There is such thing as too much paint. And after 10 minutes, what we're going to do is flip over the base and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did to the front side. Apply three coats, one minute in between. And there you have it, the entire base is now covered in white, actually looks very pretty. Next, we're going to sand our base. What you will need? You will need a mask, you'll need gloves, a towel, and of course some sandpaper. I used a 600 sandpaper and not anything higher because we want to smooth out our project, but not too much. If the surface is too smooth, your paint will not stick onto the project properly. That's why I used the 600, because it smooths out the surface well enough, but not too smooth, so that paint doesn't stick. So as you're sanding, of course you do not want to apply too much pressure, that's very important, and of course you don't want to be around the same area for too long, you want to move around a lot. Make sure you get the entire base and just smooth them up so you know you can draw on it. That's all you really need. You don't need to spend too much time on it actually.
there we have it. We have our project completely covered in white. It is now prepared for me to draw and paint on it. This I am planning on doing off camera simply because I do take sessions to do my drawing and painting. I don't do it all at once, all on one day. Also, the pressure of the camera being there is actually a lot for me, if I'm being honest. So I am going to do that part off camera. And of course, I actually did kind of want to do this as a surprise to show you guys the paint job that I've done, or doing rather. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all.